Fueled by DeathCast. Um, I like striking just as much as I love jujitsu, and yeah. um, I don't train it quite as much as I do jujitsu. I'm training jujitsu six days a week, twice yeah. a day. Well, it sounds like time, you fell in love. Yeah, I did. You know, yeah. I, I just became an addict once, especially once I moved out here. Yeah, and I was just, you know, I just started training all the time. I had nothing better to do. Yeah. I came yeah. out here by myself and. Um, just uh i was cleaning those mats to train for free so i was like i'm gonna take advantage of this i was training all the time man and i was just uh you know and slowly but surely i, I realized it was it was my life you know it was like yeah. i was at the gym all the time and then yeah. they were like well shit this kid's here all the time i guess we'll fucking hire him he's pretty good <laughs> so you know I, I guess we'll keep him around so i got lucky man i got really lucky yeah but, and you're a purple belt now yeah i'm a purple That's belt cool, yeah man uh-huh when'd so, you get your when'd you get your purple belt i got it uh it was November 29th of 2016, I think. All right. I, I feel like I can So you're remember deep this. into your purple belt. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know when I'll get my brown, but it's probably always, sooner than later. It's always super subjective, right? Yeah, it is. You know, it's like my coach, he, he, uh, he likes all of his students to compete you know and so i think he just probably wants me to get a few more competitions in as a purple belt which yeah. i'm okay with that and i know? find so. if your coach likes you it usually takes longer exactly he <laughs> wants, and he's even told me that before he told me he was telling me that as a blue belt he was like hey he was like i know you've been tapping these black belts but uh i'm still going to keep you as a blue belt because i want you to be the baddest fucking blue belt in the world yeah. then i'll give you your purple belt I remember him saying that <laughs> that's to awesome. me. so i was like okay cool good and coach got my purple belt and then um you know he i think he just wants the same thing for that belt and then brown belt and yeah black belt you by know the time I mean? you get your black belt you're just gonna be a straight up assassin yeah man. yeah exactly <laughs> so you know it's a, there and you know i would much rather be the the purple belt who's beating higher belts rather than yeah. the higher belt who's getting beat by right. a lower belt you know what i mean right. yeah. that's 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 a shitty feeling and there are guys out there who they just it, it's not their fault but their coach gave them their their brown or their black belt way too early yep. and, and you know they're the ones catching the shit in for yeah. it you know what i mean they're going into competitions with you know like a purple belt and then getting tapped and right it's like you know they may have just gotten belted a little too soon so. but i feel like in the jujitsu world it's not odd to see a purple belt tap a black belt no it's not i mean it, it it's it's common it's I mean, very it happens common. all the time it's, i mean yeah. that's a beautiful thing beautiful thing about jujitsu yeah anything can happen yeah uh -huh. and uh a purple belt's not stupid if yeah there, if there's an opening and everybody will leave an opening at some point it, it a happens. purple belt will know how to take advantage of yeah that. yeah and something i've learned over time is like the belts are just collars man like yeah. uh, you know when i first got like my blue belt and i was starting to train around more and more black belts richie my coach he was starting to take me with him to other gyms to cross train and stuff and i'd be like oh shit, this guy's a black belt oh no yeah. but then like once i grab a hold of him i'd be like uh, he's just another grappler. It's yep. just yeah. because he's a black belt. It's like I would I would put them on this pedestal in yep. my head, like, oh shit, this guy's way better than me. He has to be. He has a black belt. That's not true. He's just he's just another grappler. Yeah. He just happened yeah. to get his rank, you know, quicker than me. But you know what I mean? That's oh, not totally. just a caller, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like that it's, translates to real life too, right? Uh -huh. When you like meet somebody or, or even uh, maybe even like a celebrity, and you're like, this person's a, like a god. Or, exactly. Like, put them up on this pedestal. Dude, I know. Oh, and yeah. then you finally you meet them, you talk to them, and you're like, oh, it's just another dude, just like me. Exactly. And that's, dude, jujitsu has done, man, it's helped me the way that I look at people and yep. just life in general so much. Like, what you just said was a perfect example, man. I, I don't even look at, like, like, I've met a lot of celebrities and stuff since I've moved out here, yeah. and um, a lot of, like, big name fighters. I've right. trained with a lot of, uh, you, you know, high level fighters, and it's like, I used to get starstruck if I ever if I ever met a celebrity or, or a, a popular fighter that I watched in the UFC, and now yeah. I'm just like, it's just another person, yeah. you know what I mean? And